Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Minister for his response, but let's face it, as some may be reading in their end of year reports due this week, good effort, but just not good enough. The process for applying for free childcare is confusing for both parents and nurseries. As one parent said to me, getting the code was the most complicated process I have ever endured. I would imagine that many parents would just give up. They explained that you get passed from pillar to post between different areas of the website, each asking you for a different password sent to you by SMS or email. Is this really necessary? As members in this House will attest, setting up two-factor authentication on our phones was difficult enough, and we have a well-resourced IT department. Who is helping the parents at home who are juggling this with jobs and caring for their young children? As a result, parents haven't been able to open accounts to pay for their nursery, playgroup or preschool, and even some of the providers, particularly in the voluntary sector, can't register. The government's rollout of 30 hours of free childcare is welcome, but only if it is of high quality and if parents can access it readily. So I ask the Minister this. Why is the DfE website still sending parents a holding response when they finally do submit an online application? How long is the department taking for them to confirm eligibility? What proportion of the children eligible to take up free childcare have been able to do so? And moreover, with the end of the school term rapidly approaching, how can nurseries plan for the upcoming year if parents can't provide them with the voucher details? What support can the government provide to nurseries to plan and budget effectively for an as yet unknown number of children who will be joining them on the 1st of September? And finally, what will the government do to review this and the accessibility of the online registration process so that this doesn't happen again next year? Yeah.